Hey, it's Randy here in the garage. Uh, what I've got on the bike stand here is a Schwinn Heavy Duty. It's currently set up as a single speed coaster brake and it does have the front and rear rim brakes also. Um, making some modifications to it to get it ready for National Single Speed Day tomorrow. So I'm in the process of uh, swapping out the tires that were on it. Where we're on the bike were these, uh, they're marked as Blackburn tires, so I'm guessing they came from Walmart. I don't know, something about them, I guess wasn't crazy about them. So I swapped them out for these specialized uh, resolution. I think both tires were 26 by two. So I've already got the front swapped out and mounted and I'm working on the rear now. Okay, I got the rear tire swapped out. And what I think I'm gonna do is, Remove the guts of this coaster brake to make it a uh, to make it free wheel. One thing I know for sure is we're gonna not gonna need the brake pads. It's just as simple as removing those brake pads and see here. No. I'm bend these, bend these, uh, this spring, I'm gonna bend the tabs. Is that what I need to do? Uh-oh. Just noticed this bearing was missing a ball, so Let's see if I can find a replacement for that. I didn't find it anywhere in the wheel, so I don't know. Let's see what we have that we can use. Have a bearing in here. At least the ball from a bearing. Ah, here we go. Okay, so what I just didn't film was me cutting the arm off the coaster brake arm. So I can still use it as the washer. Okay, I really don't know what I'm doing here, but here's what I have done. And that's remove the brake shoes, pads. On this spring, the little tabs that engage with this, I bent them out so they're flat. And then I added a couple of washers in here. And then I cut the arm off the uh, brake arm. Let's see what happens here. Okay, I think that did it. So I'm gonna take off this kickstand. It just, uh, I have to, I've got a slice of old inner tube holding it in place so it doesn't drop down when I'm bouncing around. I've got this tool I made many years ago to remove uh, 
Schwinn kickstands. It's not really needed, but it makes it a little bit easier. So that compresses that spring and takes the pressure off this little pin up underneath there. Cut that. Next up is the handlebars. I'm thinking about replacing those. Something that doesn't have as much rise. So I'm gonna play around with that and see what I think. See what handlebars we have here. These are what I took off the bike in that uh, the last build video. Okay, these are the same handlebars except I extended these. I think these are the same deal, same as these, and I think I extended these also. Um, I'm saving this for another build. Okay, let's go with these. Some of what I'm going to experiment with here, I think. I think I may use this uh, quill stem adapter, either this stem or, or this one. Of course, this stem will only work with a 7 8 bar mounting area. I think I've got multiple shims in here and that's just what's holding it out. I can't believe that I had two shims to, to get to get that to fit in there. Okay, that would have to be shimmed just like the other one. I did find a stand that actually fits. It's a, what is it, 25.2 millimeters? This headset is actually an inch and a quarter, not, not an inch, so, but it's a threaded fork. Okay, I think I'll go take it for a spin and see how I like the handlebar set. Okay, I think I like I like the handlebar set up and I'm gonna keep that. I'm going to switch out these pedals though.
I think I'll stick with black. I think we'll go with these. One last thing I'm gonna do, I'm having problems with these brakes squealing. Um, yeah, obviously it's not ideal, they're on painted rims. But anyway, I'm gonna swap the pads out for these. See if that makes any difference or we can't adjust them to where it does make a, a difference. And the pads are swapped out on the front. Now to do the back and I think we'll be ready to go. So there we have it. I think I'm done. Like I said, I just kind of made these changes just to go out and ride it tomorrow for National Single Speed Day or International Single Speed Day. Just gave me an excuse to tinker on the bike. I just wasn't real happy with the way it was set up before. Out here playing around on some single track um, the bikes doing pretty good considering what it is uh, let's go over it again real quick and explain what I've done okay the bike is a Schwinn heavy duty um, not sure when they started making this frame style the originals were uh, cantilever frames maybe the mid late 90s I got it as a frame and fork and I believe that's the original fork I can't recall if I put a different one on or not and probably the original stem with some generic handlebars that I lengthened a little bit. Uh, let's see, Ori grips. Don't know what these brake levers are, but they operate these uh, caliper brakes. Wheel set. Let's see, painted aluminum wheel set. The rear was a coaster brake, which rem removed the guts so it could freewheel. Uh, the drivetrain. Let's see, a 44 tooth, and the rear's a 20. Got this Brooks B72 saddle, rear rack. I'd remove the kickstand. These uh, cheap plastic pedals that seem to work just fine for me. And I believe that's everything.